I'm going to show you how to make aloo tomato very easy. And so we start with some diced uh, tomatoes and uh, potatoes. And here in some hot oil, I'm putting some jeera, about a spoonful. And then you do it on low, low to medium flame, medium flame. Don't do it on too high, otherwise it gets burnt rather easily. And then you wait till you see a little whiff of smoke coming out. Let it turn dark brown, not black. If it turns black, it's already burnt. So here you see a little bit of the smoke coming out, slightly dark brown. And now I'm adding the tomatoes. And so you can put pureed tomatoes if you like. Uh, I don't use the tin tomatoes. They are not so tasty. So either put some tomato puree from a tin or better still, just put these tomatoes in it, uh, diced fresh tomatoes. I like the Mexican ones better than the um, uh, Canadian ones because these are more tarty. And then you carry on cooking them on a medium to high flame. I've added a bit of, of uh, salt at this stage because it drags the water out of the tomatoes and they get done uh, a little bit faster. And so the next step I'm putting in is some chili powder. Chili powder you can add in the beginning, okay, at this stage, because it doesn't have any fragrance. So other spices come a little bit later. If you put the other spices too early, then they will lose the fragrance because spices are all about volatile oils. And so all that fragrance will go away if you add it too early. But with chili, that's not the case. And chili requires some more cooking. All right, after it's been done for at least about another six, seven minutes, I've cut short the video there and I'm going to add coriander powder. So that is coriander powder and this is cumin powder. So coriander cumin powder and just a quarter spoon of algae. Not much, a little bit of algae. That's it really. That's all the masalas. Coriander powder, cumin powder. In the beginning you put cumin seeds. You can add a bit of amchur. If your tomatoes are not tarty enough, so you know, if you're using Canadian tomatoes, they are more sweet than tarty. Here, you require a little bit of that sourness. So, you can add a bit of amchur. Um, many times, you won't even need that. You can also add a, just a very tiny pinch of citric acid um, to make it tarty. You know, a very tiny pinch. Either way, amchur or citric acid both can work if the tomatoes are not very tarty. Just keep stirring it on a high flame and because you want to cook these tomatoes and then when it's beginning to get a little bit thick, uh, I, I'll, add, yeah, I'll add the potatoes. So here are the diced potatoes and I like to cook this in this sort of a tomato mix before I add any water because here the temperature is quite high. After you add the temperature, you know, it boils at 100 degrees centigrade. So that actually cools it down while here the temperature is probably around 120, 130 perhaps. So it's much higher because of the salt and tomatoes and there's no water in this. And so when I'm um, cooking it in this, the tomato, the potatoes they get done better. And, uh, you know, the, as you can see now, everything is getting thicker. I'm doing it on a high flame, right, it's all high flame, and see as I move it around, you can see it's now getting rather thick, you can see it's sort of a little bit sticking at the bottom, I'm almost done, that means, so I reach the stage, if you do it a little bit more and the oil separates out, you know, you, you can see the oil separating out now, see, and that means now we are done, so this, this part is done, and now, you can add, I'm going to add some water to it. You can also add some peas at this stage if you want. Uh, if you want to make aloo tomato with peas, you can also add peas at this stage. Um, otherwise, I'm going to add water. And the amount of water you add depends on how liquidy you want to make it. You know, so if you're going to have it rice, with rice you want more water. If you want to have it with roti or paratas or something, you want it a little bit dry. So here I'm adding, uh, you know, plenty of water because uh, some of that water will get soaked, will get pulled in by the 
by the potatoes also, you know, so it will become slightly dry. So I've added you know, a generous amount of water because I like it, you know, with a nice curry. So I like I like it with thin. And uh, you can have this with either rice or rotis. And now, once I bring it to a boil, then I'm going to put it on a low flame. Really low, okay? Number two is good enough. Just about boiling. So it shouldn't be boiling really vigorously. Cover it up and just leave it for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, that's all. On just boiling. And now, 20 minutes are over. You can see a little bit of the oil is, uh, is on top. And now I'm adding diced, or I'm sorry, the chopped green coriander, dhania powder, fresh dhania. Uh, you know, that comes right at the end. And along with that, just a tiny pinch of garam masala. Just a tiny pinch. And that's it. Done. That's all.